Good morning. Welcome to the Friday Morning Telecast. Did you know that we had Earth Day last week? Yes. And did you know that really every day is Earth Day? Mm-hmm. Why do you think uh, celebrating Earth Day is so important? Let's go find out. And let's see what else you're doing around campus. take care of it mm -hmm. and remember that we live on it. Absolutely. Kate, what do you think? Because we should take we shouldn't take it for granted and we should enjoy what we have on it and not want more. Wonderful. Abby, what do you think? I think we should celebrate Earth Day because it gives us things to live and yeah. Like water and food. Yes, thank you. Jaden, why is it important to celebrate Earth Day? Um, well, it's um, it's important to protect our Earth, um, to try and stop global warming. Thank you. Okay, so why is it important to celebrate Earth Day? The reason why is because our Earth is where we live, and so we need to take care of it by recycling, not using a lot of plastics, not using a lot of to-go containers, because that's damaging our planet and it's also ruining our water, and it's contributing to all the trash and our wildlife. So that's why it's important to make sure we take care of our Earth. Hey, Rimmel, what are you reading? A letter from... Joe Biden that he sent me. You're kidding, the president? Yeah. Why did he why did he write you a letter? Because I wrote him a letter about like saving the earth and cleaning up the oceans and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so like animals don't die. Oh I love that. Do you want to read a little tiny bit of it for us? Sure. Um Miss Dear Mr. Martinez, thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts with me. Hearing from, hearing from passionate individuals like you inspire me every day, and I welcome the opportunity to respond to your letter. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. 
I'm here with Mrs. Thornton. And she's not only our sixth grade teacher, she's also a homeschool mom. So I wanted to ask her about Autism Awareness Month. Remember I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that it's Autism Awareness Month, and now I wanna know a little more about it. Mrs. Thornton, what can you tell us about Autism Awareness Month? So it is Autism Awareness Month, and a lot of people like to say Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. Um, and it's a particularly important month for me because my son has autism spectrum disorder. And so I've been learning a lot about it over the last many years. And the main reason why we have a special month dedicated to autism is to create an understanding um, about autism and mm -hmm. create acceptance um, both in the US and worldwide. And it also helps foster support around the world um, for autism. Um, and then the main idea is to create a world that helps people with autism reach their full potential. I love that. And especially, you know, we're talking a lot about Earth Day too. So not only is it about the Earth, it's about the people on the Earth and making them reach their potential. That's so wonderful. Hey. You said something, you said autism spectrum disorder. What, what is that? Well, because autism is a spectrum, that means that everybody on the autism spectrum looks and acts very differently from each other. So if you meet one person with autism, that means you've met one person with autism. Everybody is different and has their unique set of strengths and challenges. You know, it's so funny. I mean, I would say that about every single one of us, wouldn't you? That's true. We That's all have true. our, yeah. And the, and the thing with people with autism is they really are in most ways the same as everybody else. Mm -hmm. Something that sets them apart is that they sometimes think, um, problem solve mm -hmm. and learn differently. And so with that, the world around them needs to learn how to create opportunities that encourage and pull out the, all the strengths. Well, and also understand that people have different perspectives and they have different ways of thinking. So when we approach anyone, we have to think of, well, wait a minute, they might not think like us. They might not take something the same way we do. So a student who has, or a person who has autism spectrum disorder, let's just say something, let's pick one thing, like sound. Mm -hmm. Like everyone takes sounds differently, right? At different levels. And so some people, if you play a loud sound, it's going to hurt their ears. That, right. Some people, right. it's very exciting to have a loud sound. And if you might be at an assembly and they say, let's cheer louder, yeah. <laughs> some people, that's very exciting. And other people, that's just the worst thing that could possibly happen. Yeah. You get affected. Your whole body might be affected by that noise. That's so you're so right. Everyone reacts very differently. Yeah. So that's just so good for us to have that awareness. And here we are in Autism Awareness Month. Mrs. Thornton, thank you so much for teaching us about this. It's, I feel like my mind's even more open than it was. I appreciate it. Thank you. And yeah, just one other thing to add is that yes. actually one in 44 children in the U.S. have autism. So wow. that might be more than people may think. Yeah, that's a lot. It's, it's a lot just, of people. It's because of the spectrum, of course, too. And there's mm -hmm. just people that are affected in so many different ways. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. B. <laughs>time for student recognitions. Here we go. In Mrs. Donald's class, we have Savannah for reading 25 Raptor Reader books. Lincoln, Koche, Allie, and Weston for reading 50 Raptor Reader books. Wow! In Miss E's class, we have Stefan for pride in his reading skills, Audrina for responsibility with homework, and Theo for making connections during reading lessons. In Mrs. Talley's class, we have Priscilla, Emily, Sophia, 
Jay for passing Alexia level. And Emily for finishing all nine goals in facts wise. In Mrs. Earl's class, we have Colette and Luke for being a good friend to their classmates and uh, Tirza and Jordan for always being good helpers in the classroom. In Mrs. Robinson's class, we have Isaac for sharing his incredible ways to solve math problems and Aaliyah for active participation during discussions. In Mr. Anderson's class, we have to all 12 of my readers that met their reading goal for goal five. And way to go, here we go. Coralie, Enik, Theo, Aaron, and Annie who have put 100% effort into being a self-starter. Awesome. Student recognition is part two. In Mrs. Kona's class, Mrs. Kona would like to thank Miss Lazo and the whole kindergarten class for working so hard while she was gone. Awesome. In Mrs. Foster's class, we have Scarlett and Ellie for being kind, thoughtful, and looking for ways to help others. In Mr. Sugano's class, we have Paul for leveling up and reading plus. Riley and Kylie for helping out with so much tech. And we have Nico for getting his best score ever on his math test. Woo! And Bella and Lynn for always putting the chairs down in the morning. That's awesome. Uh, I have a shout out, and this is for Destin and Barrett uh, for helping to fix the surfboards on the playground fence. Thanks so much, boys. Hey there. We're reading a quote about the world from Pete the Cat. And um, I've got a couple friends here with me. We're about to do the waypoints, uh, but I wanted to share this with you. It's from Margaret Mead, uh, an anthropologist. Um, and she says, never believe that a few caring people uh, can't change the world for indeed, that is all who ever have. Once again, never believe that a few caring people can't change the world for indeed, that's all who ever have. Here's what Pete, has to say, he's just showing us. Look at that. All together, we can make a difference. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's time for waypoints. Here we go. All right. First one is Aiden in Mrs. Foster's class for copper being kind. Who is next? We have Travis for good sportsmanship and caring. Next up we have here we go, here we go. It is Mason for good citizenship and responsibility. Nice job. Let's do that in the library too, by the way, boys. And finally we have oh, Layla in fifth grade. Awesome job, everybody. What do you see out in that ocean swimming fast and free? Hey monkey, up in that tree, are you laughing, smiling down at me? Well, this world, it is the best world, it's the best world in the world. Honest world, it is the best world in the world. Why? Why? So fast, slow down and make this moment last. Well, this world, it is the best world. It's the best world in the world. Ah, uh, this world, it is the best world in the whole wide world. Swimming fast and free. Hey, whale, 
what do you see out in that ocean and through history? Hey, flowers, perfect bloom. It's the topic on everybody's Zoom. Three little birds, can hear you sing better now than any other spring. Well, this world is the best world. It's the best world. Happy Earth Day. All right, friends. See you around campus.